Mumbai, the city that never sleeps, has received its latest architectural gift, the Mumbai Metro 3 or the Aqua Line. This is a 33.5 km long metro line in Mumbai, which is Mumbai's first fully underground metro line and also India's longest continuously operated underground metro tracks. And about one third of this line is currently operational from the RA depot station to the BKC station, which is right behind me. So we explored these stations, took a trip in this newest metro line to understand what is the tech behind this newest engineering marvel in Mumbai. It's fully underground, so you can only see the entrances to the stations, but the RA depot station is the only station that is on ground. Right now, it's completely empty, of course, because not a lot of people are traveling on this metro line, but at its capacity, each metro train can accommodate over 2,000 passengers in a single trip. Now, Mumbai's traffic congestion needs no introduction, and the aim here of this Mumbai Metro 3 is to alleviate those massive traffic jams in the city, especially on the western side of the city. The journey from Kaf Parade to RA Depot would normally take an average Mumbaiker just over two hours. But with the Mumbai Metro 3, once it is fully operational, that travel time will be cut down to just one hour. Now let's talk about the journey. You of course need a ticket which can be bought at the ticket vending machine or at the counter or also from the mobile app. But let's talk real tech now. The Mumbai Metro 3 or the Aqualine has driverless operation which means nobody sitting in the cockpit and the metro is running all on its own. It uses the latest generation of communication based train technology to ensure that there are fewer disruptions, almost zero and also the frequency of trains is kept at a high. The new Aqualine metro stations also feature integrated platform screen doors or PSDs. You may have also seen them on other metro stations across the country and the aim here is not just to act as a barrier between the platform and the train tracks but also act as a safety measure so that people don't fall off onto these train tracks and of course these doors only open once the metro is stopped at the designated area and there's also a control room a dedicated area where officials are constantly monitoring every single activity there's cctv facial recognition cameras here as well as emergency intercoms One thing that I noticed while we were traveling in the new metro is that there's barely any cellular connectivity when you're inside these trains, when you're traveling underground. Now that can be a safety hazard, especially in case of an emergency. A similar situation also happened when the Mumbai underwater coastal road tunnels also opened. There was no cellular connectivity there, but they fixed that eventually. Now I am also hoping that something similar happens here as well and it ideally should, but they should have done this right from the get-go instead of taking reactive actions. Now speaking of learnings from the tunnels, let's talk about flooding. Earlier here on Tech Today, we reported that the underwater tunnels on the Mumbai coastal road were actually suffering from flooding in the rains and also from the seawater. Hopefully a similar situation does not occur here. The authorities have taken certain measures to ensure that these stations are almost waterproof but only time will tell. Thankfully, there are no monsoons right now. We'll find out in 2025. Stay tuned.